Hey guys, welcome to vtchacademy.com. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss few examples on trigonometric identities. So in our previous videos, we have already discussed about trigonometric identity and also proved whether it is true for all theta values. And here in this video, we are going to discuss how to solve such examples by using these identities. So coming to the first example. So here the given example is if sine theta is equal to 3 by 5, then find tan theta using trigonometric identities when theta is acute. So here we are given with sine theta is equal to 3 by 5. So now let us find the value of sine square theta. So sine square theta will be equal to 3 by 5 whole square. So that implies we get here 9 by 25. And here by using trigonometric identities we can find the value of cos square theta. So let us use first trigonometric identity that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So now here we have to find the value of cos square theta. So the value of cos square theta can be found by just transferring sine square theta to the right hand side. So we get here cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. And here by substituting the value of sine square theta we get here 1 minus the value of sine square theta which is 9 by 25. And here by simplifying we get 25 minus 9 divided by 25. So that implies here by subtracting we get 16 by 25 which is the value of cos square theta. So that implies the value of cos theta will be equal to plus or minus 4 by 5 which is nothing but the square root of 16 by 25. And now we are given with an information that theta is acute. So we can say that cos theta is equal to positive 4 by 5. And now we have to find the value of tan theta. So tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta and then substituting the values of both sin theta and cos theta that is 3 by 5 divided by the value of cos theta which is 4 by 5. And here we get 3 by 5 into the reciprocal of the denominator which is 5 by 4. And here we can cancel 5 1 time is 5 and 5 1 time is 5. So that implies we get the result as 3 by 4 which is the value of tan theta. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example. So here given example is given that 8 tan theta is equal to 15 then find the value of sin theta minus cos theta for theta lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So here we are given it 8 tan theta is equal to 15. So that implies we can write tan theta is equal to 15 by 8. Let us find the value of tan square theta. So that implies we can write tan square theta is equal to square of 15 which is 225 divided by the square of 8 which is 64. So let us use identity that is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. And now in order to find the value of secant square theta, let us transfer tan square theta to the right hand side. So we get here secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. And now in order to find the value of secant square theta, let us substitute the value of tan square theta here. So we get 1 plus 225 divided by 64. And here by simplifying, we get 64 plus 225 divided by 64. So that implies we get 289 divided by 64 which is the value of secant square theta. So that implies the value of secant theta will be equal to plus or minus 17 by 8 which is the square root of 289 divided by 64. And here theta lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees so we can say that secant theta is equal to 17 by 8. And from this value we can also find the value of cos theta that is cos theta is equal to 1 by secant theta. So now the reciprocal of the value of secant theta which is 8 by 17 is the value of cos theta. And now let us use 
first identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. And now in order to find the value of sin square theta, let us transfer cos square theta to the right hand side. So we get 1 minus cos square theta. And here by substituting the value of cos theta, we get 1 minus 8 by 17 square. That is 64 by 289. And here by simplifying, we get 289 minus 64 divided by 289. So that implies we get here 225 divided by 289, which is the value of sine square theta. So that implies the value of sine theta will be equal to square root of 225, which is 15 by square root of 289, that is 17. So we get 15 by 17 as the value of sine theta. As it lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, we can say that sine theta is positive. And now let us find the value of sine theta minus cos theta. So that implies we can substitute the values of both sine theta and cos theta. That is 15 by 17 which is the value of sine theta minus the value of cos theta which is 8 by 17. And here we have common denominator so we get 17 as the denominator and in the numerator we get 15 minus 8. So that implies we get the result as 7 by 17 which is the value of sine theta minus cos theta. So make a note of the identities that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. And the last identity that is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. So all these identities are also called as Pythagorean identities. So this was the basic introduction on how to solve examples using these identities. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.